Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. We've been going through all of the equity market action. So let's talk about what's going on with commodities as well. We have Manisha joining us with a quick check. Manisha, take us through what's happened overnight. Pavitra, thank you so much for that. I'll start with the crude oil prices where we are looking at supports being held. The major uh, the thing in the last 24 hours clearly has been the US dollar index, which has seen a bit of a pullback and we are now trading below 101. And that seems to be supporting many of these commodity markets. The overnight space hasn't been so great because when you look at the metals as a sector, we've seen China slow down recovery weighing on. There are recession fears as well prompted by high interest rates. So you have copper prices now trading at a two-week lows. Zinc is trading at a two-year lows. Other metals like tin are now off two-month highs. We've seen nickel also come off its highs. Iron ore and steel prices have continued to decline, trading at a four- and a five-month lows right now. And all eyes on the first quarter GDP numbers from U.S. That data gets released today. And further direction for markets would come in from that. All right, Manisha, thanks a lot for bringing us all of those details from the world of commodities. But with that, here's another important update.